You are listening to the Yummy Mummy Podcast, the best of series. Welcome to the Yummy Mummy Podcast, where you will learn brand new and shockingly different tools to lose weight for the last time. And now, here's your host, certified life and weight loss coach, Laura Conley. Hey, Yummy Mummy, before we dive into this best of podcast, I want to let you know that we are doing a free five-day challenge called, drum roll please, The Summer of Me. It is a free weight loss challenge where we are going to kick off you feeling like your best self. So June 10th to June 14th, we are going to dive in. It's five days. It's every day at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern. Go sign up at lauraconley.com forward slash summer. And by the end of of our five days together, you are going to walk away with a perfect plan that you can actually follow, that you actually want to follow, the confidence to follow through, relief in knowing that there really is an answer for you, and just a little pep in your step. This really is going to be the summer that it gets done. Oh, it's so good. I know you're going to look back on the summer of 2024 and be like, that's when it all changed. That's when it shifted. No more waiting, no more excuses, right? The definition of insanity, you guys know it, (laughs) is expecting things to change when you keep doing the same things. We have to do something different. So let's try the yummy mummy method that we will be teaching inside the summer of me. Imagine actually wanting to go to the pool with your kid actually feeling confident enough to get in that bathing suit. We're going to cover all of this. So you don't have to wait for next summer. Let's do it this summer. This is the one where you get to feel fabulous, where you get to feel like it's yours, right? I want you to be able to go to the barbecue without the dread, without feeling self-conscious, knowing exactly how to handle it, feeling in control, hitting the beach with your friends, with your family, riding bikes. You guys, This is our one precious life. And the point is to be present and to hang out with our people and to have fun and to enjoy it. The weight is in the way. So let's get it out of the way inside this free five-day challenge. Okay, you guys, this is it. No more generic diets. You're gonna have a custom weight loss plan that really works in terms of fitting into your lifestyle and helping you create the goals that you want to create. This is motivation that sticks. You're actually going to want to follow through on your plan because you will feel supported. You will feel inspired. You will feel like it is doable. If you have a lot of vacations this summer, if you have a lot of events, if you have a lot of trips or kind of just things that are out of routine, you are going to want to be at this challenge. Okay, go to lauraconley.com forward slash summer and you better sign up. Space actually is limited for this challenge. So get over there, sign up. It's going to be so amazing. We're going to have so much fun. You guys know how I do these challenges. We have a blast and a half. So remember, it's June 10th to the 14th every day at 9 a.m. Pacific. Go mark your calendars. Get your booty in the door. LaraConley.com forward slash summer. Enjoy this podcast episode. I freaking love you guys all so much. Have the best week ever. Ciao, ciao. So I know you are dying to hear about what to do and what not to do when you notice you've eaten something that was off your protocol or you had something you said you weren't going to have or you indulge in something that really doesn't serve you. So I love to tell the story of my daughter's first birthday. I had planned to not eat the cake and I knew this cake was going to be really special because we were ordering it from one of our favorite places. So I had planned not to eat it. And then I was cleaning up and a little icing got on my finger and I licked it. Oops. (laughs) It's almost as if something else took over. I was thinking, holy crap, that's good. Must have more. Must have more now. This is a gist of what my brain tells me usually when I have some sugar. It actually kind of felt like a small emergency. So I had the cake that was not on the plan. Hello, sugar hangover. If I had to pick, I would actually take a standard hangover over the sugar hangover every single time. It's like, you guys, I don't know if you experience this, but 
It's like I can feel the sugar in my veins. I mean, I'm sure that I can't actually feel the sugar in my veins, but that's what it feels like. It feels gross. So in this moment, when I'm having this sugar hangover, I had a choice to make. I could, number one, have the sugar hangover and that was it, which is still kind of sucky. Or I could have the sugar hangover and on top of that, beat myself up for having had the cake, which is super, super, super sucky. Now, you guys, there is another very subtle option here. Number three, which is have the sugar hangover and then just let myself off the hook and let myself go unconscious without actually looking at what the thought was that caused me to eat the cake after I tasted it on my finger. So my brain for sure wanted to throw me down the shame spiral of what is wrong with you and haven't you learned your lesson yet? And now you aren't going to look and feel how you want for your retreat and so on and so on and so on. This is what it sounds like in my brain when I'm beating myself up. Listening to the psycho voice in my head usually equals me throwing in the towel and eventually actually eating more sugar. Isn't that crazy, you guys? But I said, sorry, sweet little brain, not doing that today. Not arguing with reality and making myself feel like ass on purpose. Because what's the point? You guys, I think it's so funny how we think that if we just beat ourselves up hard enough, will weigh what we want. (laughs) It actually works in the opposite way. So in this instance, I was slowly able to shift and it became, oh my God, you know what? This is really good information. I'm so happy. I reminded myself of how much sugar sucks and how committed I am to staying away from it. Genuinely, you guys, this is actually really what I was thinking. And so I drank a shit ton of water and went about my day. And I really genuinely, emotionally, physically, mentally felt better within hours. And this is where a lot of people can get to. But I want to warn you that there's another step here. Yes, drink the water. Yes, maybe even meditate. Maybe even go for a run. Maybe even take a shower, like clean slate it, right? But I really want to encourage you to go back to the moment right after you licked your finger and the icing tasted good. I want you to find out what the thought was in your brain that then made you eat a whole piece, or in my case, two whole pieces of cake. Because you guys, if we can find that specific thought, we can be on guard for when that thought inevitably presents itself to us in the future and make a different choice. Because like I said, we can have the cake and beat ourselves up. We can have the cake and let ourselves off the hook. Or we can have the cake, be really nice to ourselves and get conscious. And look, what happened there? And that is the way that you actually make true habit change. A lot of my clients will say to me, oh, I had this thing that was off protocol, but I'm not mad about it. It's like they're telling me, they're proving to me that They didn't beat themselves up. And I love that. I'm so proud of them for not beating themselves up. But if they don't look back at what the thought was that caused them to eat the two pieces of cake, they then let themselves off the hook and they will continue to create the same result over and over and over again, which they may or may not want, right? So for me, at this time in my life, I had a weight that I wanted to get to. Because that weight represented how I felt physically, emotionally, and mentally. I know for me and my clients that beating ourselves up does not work. Letting ourselves off the hook does not work and say, oh, I'll just start fresh tomorrow. That's part of it. But what we really have to do is dive in and say, hmm, what was I thinking? So for me, I was thinking, oh, screw it. It won't matter. I can clean this up later. Who cares? It's so good. I have to have it. So those are the thoughts that I was thinking and I went back and I looked and I found those thoughts so that now I can be on guard for those thoughts in the future. Okay, you guys, so I actually want to give you another story that illustrates how to go about doing this. I really don't know what I would do if I didn't have kids because I would have no examples and I wouldn't have any stories for you. (laughs) So this comes from when my daughter was learning how to ride one of those Strider bikes. Do you guys know what those Strider bikes are? They're like for toddlers. They don't have pedals and it really helps them to learn how to ride a bike eventually. So I think my daughter Luna was two and a half at this point and she's learning how to ride the Strider bike, which I noticed is 
exactly like trying to lose weight for the last time. She was falling all the time, you guys, like all the time. It was kind of brutal to watch, but she always got back up, always, every single time. And every time she says to herself and whoever is around, I got it, I got it, I'll be okay. And then most importantly, you guys, she says to herself and to me, what happened? What happened, mom? Why did I fall? Can you guys see the connection here? (laughs) So I help her to see why she fell. This doesn't mean she doesn't ever fall again, right? It just means she learns and she gets a little better each time. She doesn't expect that she should ride her strider perfectly. She doesn't beat herself up for falling. She doesn't completely throw in the towel. She's not like, I quit. I'm not learning how to ride this Strider bike anymore. She just gets back up and tries again with her new knowledge and does better. I can remember a very specific time when she has fallen and she looks at me and she's like, mom, mom, why did I fall? I'm like, Luna, it's because you started to look up to the sky. I watched her do this and her eyes were just following this bird and what it was doing and she went spat. And so I told her that. I was like, Luna, you just got really focused on the bird in the sky. So next time, if you notice a bird, just come right back to keeping your eyes on the road. And she was like, oh, I get it. So she just gets back up and tries again with this new knowledge. She doesn't beat herself up. She's not like, Luna, what's wrong with you? You'll never ride a bike, right? And she doesn't let herself off the hook. She just genuinely asks me, what went wrong there, mom? Like, how can I do better next time? And she doesn't just throw in the towel. So I just think that a child learning to ride a bike or learning to walk is such a beautiful metaphor as we learn our new habit of keeping our word to ourselves when it comes to what we're going to eat and what we're not going to eat. So the only way to ever deal with failing or falling when it comes to your protocol or what you want to eat is to say, just like Luda does, it's okay. I got it. And then with childlike curiosity, right? That's super important. When you're looking back at what the thought was that caused you to eat the two pieces of cake that you said you weren't going to eat, your brain might want to habitually beat yourself up. But you guys, you can do this with curiosity. You can do this with love. And you can just say, what happened? What can I learn? So I'm just a little bit better next time. So you guys know that I love to give you homework at the end of every single podcast. So the homework this week is to draw a line in the sand, which by the way, why is it called a line in the sand? I feel like it should be like, get a Sharpie and draw a line on a piece of paper. The sand just feels so subjective. It feels like the wind could blow and then the line wouldn't be there anymore. (laughs) My point is, I want you to make a deal with yourself that you promise to never ever beat yourself up again, nor to let yourself off the hook. Promise to yourself, anytime I mess up or I make a mistake or I quote unquote fall off the bike, I promise to look back with curiosity and love as to what happened there. What was I thinking to myself that allowed me to actually put the food in my mouth? Because you guys, it's always a thought. There's always a thought there that allowed you to put the food in the mouth. The food doesn't just end up in your mouth. Even though my clients like to tell me that that happens all the time. They're like, I don't know. It just jumped in my mouth. I'm like, it just jumped in your mouth. That's crazy. There was always a thought. And so if you can find that thought with curiosity and love and compassion for yourself, you will change your life. You will weigh your dream comes true weight. You will lose weight for the very last time. It is the best news I have for you. It's so, so exciting. So try this on. Make a commitment to yourself. When your brain goes down that rabbit hole of wanting to beat yourself up or wanting to let yourself off the hook, you just say, oh, what? What? excuse me. Nope, nope, nope. Because it will try, right? Because it's beat you up so many times before that it will try. And I just say to myself, oh, nope, we don't do that. I love you, brain. I love you, brain. And it's a hard no. It's a hard no. Okay, I want you guys to go have the best week ever. And I will see you here next week. Hey, if you've enjoyed listening to this podcast, I would love it. Love it. If you leave a rate, review, and a subscribe on whatever you're listening to this podcast in. 
pretty, pretty pleased with the cherry on top. It would help me so much and it would help all the other mamas out there hear this message. Thank you in advance. I really appreciate it. And you have to come check out the Yummy Mummy Experience. It's my proven lose weight for the last time group coaching and course. Head to lauraconley.com and just click work with me. Other than that, you guys, I would love to give you a free gift. If you want your free listener only gift, go to lauraconley.com forward slash gift. And from there, you will get your free best ever weight loss hack. So cool. The last thing I want to tell you, you guys, is I do have a free Facebook group. It's called, you guessed it, the yummy mummy. Lose weight for the last time end body drama and get food freedom. You can just search that on Facebook or again, you can head to the show notes and you'll find the link there. All right, you guys have the best day ever.